After walking out of Tuesday's sitting of the National Assembly in protest of Lennox Schumann's election as Deputy Speaker, Catherine Hughes, who comes from the Alliance for Change, one of the parties in the coalition, said she believes the move confirms the PPP government's unwillingness to work with them in the House. Schumann, a former Indigenous chief, went up against former Speaker Raphael Trotman for the post and secured the majority votes to be successfully elected to the position. He was nominated by Minister of Governance and Parliamentary Affairs Gail Tashira, while Trotman was nominated by Hughes. Describing the move as an abomination, Hughes says this goes against a long-standing tradition and convention that the Deputy Speaker position goes to an opposition member of Parliament. There is a long-standing tradition that the deputy speaker goes to a member of the opposition. The fact that the government proposed Mr. Uh, Schumann is really an abomination because we know a few days ago the government stated that Mr. Schumann is now one of their advisors. So how do you have someone that is going to look out supposedly for the interests of the opposition who is now an advisor for the same government. Um, there has been a long convention that that position, Deputy Speaker, goes to the opposition. You have now put a person who could not even get 3,000 votes. I think he got 2,657 votes. And guess what? He didn't even have the ability to get his own seat. At the end of the day, APNU AFC is the predominant opposition. We amass more than, although we don't support the declaration, but based on the declaration, over 217,000 votes. And how, in all conscience, could you not do the right thing and ensure, in the interest of unity and working together, that you allow the opposition to fill that position of deputy speaker. There is no rule that an opposition MP must get the deputy speaker position, and neither is it enshrined in any of the standing orders of the National Assembly. In fact, the APNU and the AFC had taken both the speaker position and the deputy speaker position in 2011 when it held the majority in the House. Trotman served as speaker with Deborah Baca as deputy speaker, both members of the opposition at the time. Schumann himself is a member of the opposition, but Hughes feels that the government should have led the nomination from the substantive APNU-AFC coalition stand. She slammed Schumann for accepting the post as deputy speaker, saying that she doesn't believe he will look out for the interests of the opposition while he also works as an advisor for the government. Who does Mr. Schumann speak for? The fact that he said to his own indigenous peoples that he was coming in to keep the government accountable and he ends up as their advisor to me is just testimony of the fact that he came in here with his own agenda. That's what this is about. This is not representation of the indigenous people. In fact, we could say that if he was supposedly and his party to represent indigenous peoples, it's almost ludicrous and sad that he could only muster 2,600-odd votes. She said the walkout was in protest of bad signals coming from the government inclusive of the election of Schumann as deputy speaker. Notwithstanding, Hughes explained to the newsroom that the APNU AFC is willing to ensure that there is a vibrant opposition in place. Kurt Campbell, Newsroom.